Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many users of Google Cloud Storage encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to efficiently list new files in a bucket or folder based on their timestamps. Specifically, they ask, how can I read only the new files that have been added since a certain time? This is a crucial task for managing data flow and ensuring you're always working with the latest files. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. To list new files in a Google Cloud Storage bucket based on their timestamps, we will use the gsudo command line tool. First, ensure that you have gsudo installed and configured with access to your Google Cloud project. Next, we will use the gsudo ls command to list files in the specified bucket or folder. To filter files based on their timestamps, we will use the L option to display detailed information, including timestamps. Now to filter the files based on a specific timestamp, we can use a combination of gsudo and a command line tool like grep. This will allow us to find files that were modified after your specified timestamp. Finally, if you want to automate this process, consider writing a script that runs this command periodically and captures the output. This way, you can keep track of new files as they arrive. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Unfortunately, gsudo and the GCS API do not allow you to list files by their timestamp. However, you can use the GCS Cloud Pub Sub feature to subscribe to new objects in your bucket. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To list new files in a Google Cloud Storage bucket, you can use the gsudo command with the den option. This option copies only files that are not already present in the destination bucket. According to the documentation, the no clobber option prevents existing files from being overwritten. It checks if a file exists before uploading, which can save bandwidth but may slow down transfers for small files. Keep in mind that this approach requires a check request for every file in your source bucket, which could increase the number of requests made. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.